Are you tired of your dribbling looking like this? And would you like to dribble like this instead? Then keep watching this tutorial. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cruzave here and in today's video we are talking about dribbling and especially how you can adapt from FIFA 21 now to FIFA 22 dribbling. First up, I want to say that your dribbling success depends on a few factors. First up, your player's dribbling skills are really important, especially agility, dribbling and ball control are important stats that should be very high. So obviously high-end players like Mbappé or Neymar are going to be amazing, but they're all also other cheaper alternatives like for example Foden in form or Jesus in form which I also used in this video. The player's body type is important. Players who are lean and smaller tend to be better for left stick dribbling and also of course your own skill is very important. You need to develop a feeling for the left stick and the animations you get from the inputs. It's not as set as for example a skill move. More on that later in this video. The first big change compared to last year is that dribbling with your back towards the defender is less useful because your player gets pressured more easily and then he might lose balance and that ends up in losing ball possession altogether. So putting your body in between the ball and the defender and then trying to get away to one side is not such an effective strategy anymore. Instead, you should try to keep distance from the defender and use small touches to make sure that you remain out of reach from any potential tackles at all times. If the defender gets close, then of course you can still turn away to put your body in there as a shield, but you should try to create distance as soon as possible or pass the ball away. In order to pull this off consistently, try to quickly analyze where the selected defender is moving and then take your next touch in the opposite direction to create some space. My second big tip is that you should approach defenders more directly from the front and then try to get past them diagonally to the side because the animations for that are very nice and fluent this year and with good timing you can beat the defender right away. This can help against aggressive opponents in the midfield area. You just have to be careful that you don't run into their anticipation but if you do it successfully then you can continue playing forward very nicely. This is also very powerful inside the box because you can punish opponent's missteps easily since you're moving forward and you can immediately shoot if there is a gap. If you do that with the perfect timing when the defender is trying to go for the tackle, then you can get a very powerful animation where your player dodges to the side and takes the ball away from the defender's reach and that then allows you to just push forward and get past him and it almost leaves no counterplay for the opponent to win the ball so this really can reward you for great timing. To summarize it you should always look for little pockets of space and then try to turn forward as fast as possible to get into that pocket. You can also try to fake out your opponent by changing direction briefly and then turn the other way again. And always make sure that you use lots of small touches, then when the opponent gets close you can turn away by positioning your player so he shields the ball, to then push into the next pocket and approach the defender straight up if possible to potentially dodge to the side. And after a while of practicing this you will get a feeling for it and will be able to keep the ball away from tackles while still moving forward and being a threat to the opponent's goal. Before we continue, let me tell you guys that if you're looking to improve at FIFA 22, then definitely check out our The Guide Plus app. Here you can find all sorts of content on different topics, structured courses that you can follow, where you can track your progress and earn badges for completing topics. And along the way, there are different quiz types that help you to test your knowledge and improve more efficiently. It's all in there. Download it for free now on iOS and Android and enjoy all the content that's still freely available for the rest of October. 
The next change in FIFA 22 is that touches tend to feel a bit heavier and missteps get punished easily because tackles are really effective and the defenders can really get their body in there. So you have to take care with your ball contacts at all times and that also means take care with using the sprint button. Always want to be able to react in time by turning away or playing a pass. And so when there is a defender already relatively close by, don't use another sprint touch because that's just an invitation for the opponent to move in there and win the ball back easily. So develop a feeling to judge your distance from the defender and the timing of your ball contacts. Are you able to accelerate by sprinting and still get another touch before the defender can tackle the ball away? Or do you need to keep the ball close so that you have lots of ball contacts and can react quickly? Here some skill moves can also come in handy to assist with your dribbling and allow for smoother turns or you know changing direction a bit more fluently. For example the ball roll works really well to get control of the ball again especially after sprinting or you can change direction quickly with it and dodge tackles. And there is also the feint forward and turn for example that allows for a straight 180 degree turn which sometimes if you use the left stick dribbling for it that can feel clunky especially if you have to slow down before turning and so some of these little skill moves can smooth out your dribbling and help in certain situations where the left stick would just be worse. I also want to mention the precision dribbling here since that kind of counters the heavier touches I was talking about. It feels like many players have forgotten about it. A few years ago you were using L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox in order to do that but that got changed and now you have to hold down L2 plus R2 on PlayStation or LT plus RT on Xbox while dribbling with the left stick and then your player will take smaller touches, move a bit slower, but also you have much more control over the ball. And this is good for additional safety in the midfield area if you really want to make sure that you're not accidentally giving the ball away with a heavy touch or you can also use tiny steps inside the box to make it very hard for the defender to find the correct tackle timing. However, you're not moving forward as quickly as if you would just use the left stick and so you're not punishing mistakes and mispositionings from the opponent that heavily. Nonetheless, I think this can be a good addition to use in some tighter spots. For example, here with Foden, I also used it in this dribbling example and then went back to the left stick as soon as I felt that I wanted some more speed again. Next up, we have the explosive sprint as sort of a new mechanic that allows you to accelerate more quickly. And that requires a good timing and directional input because in order to get the effect, you need to sprint straight ahead and there also needs to be some context to the situation so you being able to get away from a defender. And you can use this in the midfield area if you see that there's some space in front of you and like right here, the defender is still pretty far to the side so I judge that if I now sprint straight ahead I will be able to get past the defender before he can come in for a tackle and I can just speed up my entire attacking play because of that and then continue forward and leave the defender behind me. But the explosive sprint can also be useful around or inside the box like here with Jesus where I kind of dodge the defender to the side and once again I think that I'm able to break into that space in front of me before the defender can get in for a tackle. So I use the explosive sprint and then right after, as I mentioned before, I use the ball roll in order to get control again and move the ball away from the defender's tackle and I'm able to continue dribbling and eventually score the goal. In general, short sprints are much more potent this FIFA to get away from defenders even if you're not getting the explosive effect because you're moving more towards the side but still be confident in using them in order to break free and get away from the defender. So I hope that these tips help you guys out and allow you to outdribble your opponents on a regular basis and in today's question of the day I want to know what else you struggle with currently in FIFA 22 so that we can take that into account moving forward producing tutorials for you guys and also if you take improving very seriously this year and want to accomplish your goals and you want to get your own game personally analyzed then make sure to check out our private coaching the link to that will be in the description down below and with that said 
that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. I'll better talk to you in the next one. See you then. Much love. Peace.